Hey guys, back to my channel. In this session, we are going to look at uh, Elastic Beanstalk. So, uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how you can uh, deploy a, uh, a var package on uh, Tomcat uh, server using Elastic Beanstalk. So, before we uh, jump into Elastic Beanstalk, let, let's understand what is Elastic Beanstalk. So, Elastic Beanstalk is a service in AWS that helps you to uh, quickly deploy and manage your applications in the AWS without having to learn about the infrastructure that runs those applications. So, Elastic Beanstalk helps you to concentrate only on your application code without having to worry about the infrastructure that will be used to uh, run those applications. So, Elastic Beanstalk will reduce your uh, management complexity without restricting your uh, choice or uh, control. So under Elastic Beanstalk, you simply have to upload your application and Elastic Beanstalk uh, will uh, uh, automatically handle uh, the details needed for your capacity provisioning, load balancing, scaling and application health monitoring. So all you have to do is only uh, write your application, upload the uh, code of your application and the rest of the uh, components needed to run your application is taken care by Elastic Beanstalk. You only have to provide uh, the details about the infrastructure that you need to run your applications and Elastic Beanstalk will create everything for you. Now Elastic Beanstalk supports multiple programming languages. So it supports your applications developed in Go, Java, .NET, Node.js, PHP, Python and uh, Ruby. So when you deploy your application, Elastic Beanstalk will uh, build the uh, platform that you have uh, selected and it will provision one or more AWS resources like uh, EC2 instances that will be used to run your application now let's look uh, let's uh, look at how you can uh, create this environment so your elastic beanstalk falls under your uh, compute service so this is my elastic beanstalk so i'll go to my elastic beanstalk and uh, click on create new environment now sure you will need to choose between web server environment or worker environment now this is going to be a web application so i'm going to choose web server environment and give a name to this so let's say tomcat uh, server is my application name next you can give an environment name uh, this will uh, get populated automatically if you can if you want you can leave the default name or you can change whatever you want next comes your domain name so if you have your own domain name you can provide that domain name or you can leave it blank for elastic beanstalk to create a domain name for you next comes your platform so this is where you can choose uh, what is the platform for your application since we are going to deploy a var package i'm going to use uh, tomcat and you can go with sample applications or you can upload your code so amazon has some sample applications that you can try out now i have a um, uh, uh, my application so i'm going to upload my code and I'm, i have it in my local machine you also have the option of choosing it from your s3 bucket uh, but i have it in my local machine the maximum size you can have is 512 mb so i'll choose file and my uh, application is available under my downloads so this is my uh, var package i will uh, provide the link for this uh, package in the description se description section from where you can download it and when you go to this configure more options this is where you can choose what infrastructure or what resources you need for your application so this is going to launch me one single instance which will fall under my free tier account and uh, these are the software these are my instances and this is the capacity so this is going to launch my single instance on demand instance t2.micro and this is the ami that is going to be uh, used for me if you want you can have a load balancer your security groups your uh, key pairs all those things can be selected here you can set up notifications your uh, monitoring and uh, so the, all these are your default settings but if you want to change something you have the option so when you click on edit you can uh, choose uh, what you want your uh, instance type your ami all these things can be uh, selected i'm gonna go with the default values over here and simply click on create environment now when you click on create environment uh, elastic beanstalk will start creating everything for me so the first thing it will do is it will create an s3 bucket for me so this is my s3 bucket that that gets created for me so when i go to my s3 service uh, you will see a, a bucket created for uh, me so uh, this is my uh, bucket that is uh, created so today uh, 8th uh, april so this is the uh, bucket that's get uh, gets created for my um, account then it will uh, create few more uh, resources like your security group so when i go to my ec2 instance you should uh, see a security group uh, created so here under my security groups you should um, see a security group uh, created so here is my security group ending with an l23 
and here you can see l23 let's let's see what else it creates uh, it has created an elastic ip so if i go to my elastic ips you will see a uh, elastic ip created with the name tomcat server it has also uh, started an instance for me so let's see if we have any instances uh, so here you can see an instance is also launched so all these things are taken care by elastic beanstalk you don't have to worry about all this uh, uh, infrastructure that you need to uh, run your uh, war package everything is taken care by elastic beanstalk so this is where your elastic beanstalk helps you to concentrate only on your application code without having to worry about the infrastructure that will be used to uh, run this application now uh, this uh, environment setup will take a few minutes so just wait for um, uh, a few minutes before you can uh, access your uh, um, application so let's wait for this to complete this is waiting for my EC2 instances to uh, become healthy so here is my instance so let's wait for this to become healthy and it will also give me a URL that I can use to access my uh, var uh, package that I have. Now if you want the var package you can download it from here. I will be providing this URL in the uh, description section. This is where I got the uh, sample war package. I will be providing this link in the UR, uh, description section and you can uh, download it from uh, there. Now here application is available so this is the url or uh, the domain name that uh, uh, elastic beanstalk has created for me to access the uh, application so environment health has transitioned from pending to ok so everything looks good and uh, when we go to this environment uh, section uh, let's wait for this for my health to become uh, ok but uh, so now you can see your health is uh, okay and this is a url where you should be able to see your application so sample hello world application so this is my sample var package uh, deployed on my um, ec2 instance and uh, all the environment was created by my elastic uh, beanstalk so this is how you can use elastic beanstalk uh, for creating your infrastructure to uh, run your applications uh, this supports uh, many things uh, like uh, uh, it supports your um, let's see what else it supports so it supports your uh, go dot net java node.js ruby php python um, glassfish uh, docker so many thing many supports uh, support is available for uh, elastic bean so you can you, you can choose uh, in which language you have uh, written and um, if, if you once you're done using this if you want to terminate this simply select this go to actions and terminate the environment and elastic uh, provide the name of your um, environment and click on terminate and elastic beanstalk uh, will uh, delete all the resources that it has created like the uh, elastic ip the security group the uh, instance everything will be deleted automatically by your elastic beanstalk you don't have to worry about anything so that's how your elastic beanstalk uh, works this is just a simple example that i have uh, uh, created here um, that's all for this uh, video hope this uh, video is helpful to you uh, if you have any recommendations please leave it out in the uh, comments uh, section if you're facing some issue leave it in the comments uh, section and uh, if you like this video please like share and uh, subscribe i will uh, see you in the next video thank you